Hey guys, welcome back. My name's Johnny. If this is your first time watching, I show you how to make money in the stock market. So if you like that kind of stuff, feel free to subscribe and click the little bell to my channel so you don't miss anything. Alright, I got another video today for you. It's my Robinhood Zero to a Thousand Dollar Challenge, Week 25. And um, I wanted to kind of talk to you a little bit about what's going on in the market. Um, I know I haven't... Um, I'm a little late doing my video this week it is wednesday and i should have this video done on saturday so i'm very behind been a very busy week but um today looking good i am up twelve dollars for the day so far and that is uh, still fluctuating a little for the week i am up thirty two dollars and seventy eight cents i would have been closer to forty two dollars for the week and let me show you why okay so let's go ahead and go to my history and let's start with the 6th, because that was the last time I did a video. Uh, no, I'm sorry, the 29th. That was the last time I did a video. So I bought Intel on the 29th, hoping to get a couple of dollars, and realized that the market was basically doing a correction. Um, not necessarily a crash. Some people are saying a crash, but um, it was more like a correction. You know, um, the market goes 10% down, it's a correction. If it's 20% down, then that's a bear market. And then, of course, anything more than that over an extended period of time would be, um, could be a stock market crash or the beginning of a recession, stuff like that. But I believe we just did a correction. Um, one of the things I wanted to point out with the correction is that they have been occurring once a year for, I mean, once a year, every year since 1900. So um, it's definitely something that does happen in the stock market. And I know this year has been a little weird because we definitely didn't have one until now. Whereas I think even a year last year, the year before, we had like 11 corrections. So you just never know. Um, I know there's going to be more corrections to come. And the market's going to probably be a little bit more um, volatile right now. But I don't know. Just bear with it. And I believe it's still going to be okay. Worst case scenario is you not being involved in the market, period and you don't make money or lose money, you're just like stale mate, you know, you're not doing anything, I think that's the worst way. So you definitely still want to be involved. Um, what I did though, when I noticed the market was crashing, was I sold everything. I said, you know what, I only have $800, I'm just going to sell everything. So on the 31st, I'm sorry, on the 29th, my portfolio was up to $775, and I took a real quick like $11 loss. On the 30th so I started selling everything on the 31st I sold all these companies and then I thought maybe I'd be okay if I bought B&A and, and Lockheed and Martin Boeing and Lockheed Martin but um, I wasn't honestly I, I held those again for just another um, I think over the weekend and I took another loss on those so all in all I lost quite a bit I, I think I lost like about 10 like 10 or 15 dollars i lost altogether with the correction but which isn't too bad and then so i got out all that i kind of jumped the gun buying those two companies and i shouldn't but oh well and then now on the sixth i bought intel visa amgn nvidia and berkshire hathaway b i also got free shares of chesapeake energy and zynga so that was pretty cool thank you for your the people that used my link to sign up and then I also have a couple of dividends pending um, let's go back to the portfolio real quick we were a little bit out from a week so here on the 26th we we're at a high of 781 the market's doing great do 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 doing great and then right on the 29th and 30th there was the correction and so I definitely lost right off the bat about, about um six dollars and then i sold the companies the fall not until the 31st so all in all by the time i sold and got out i already lost 781 to 763 i lost 18 dollars bought a couple companies went up went up went up i was all right okay it's going up and i should have sold here didn't then went back down and that was when i said i bought boeing and lockheed martin so ultimately from the correction and because I got a little bit 
you know, I jumped the gun right here. I lost quite a bit actually from 781 all the way down to 756, almost a whole $30 loss on the correction. And then I bought in on some stocks right here on the 5th, on the 6th, 5th and 6th. I bought in and was able to make it all back and be able to even pass where I was for a $61 gain for the month. $32 gain now for the week and again I have to make up for a little bit more up here at top but that's okay I'm only about a percent down from that and then also I'm up you know $11 for the day so why because like I said I bought these companies on the 6th and I've been kind of writing them up since then I don't want to sell right now I'm kind of holding positions long and at Right now, in point in time, that's good. You know, I don't really want to day trade too much at this point. I just want to kind of hold these stocks um, right off the bat. AMG, AMG in. I've seen a really good um, stock. It looks like it's at a great discount price right now. It used to be at 198. I was able to buy in down at this mark, at the 170 mark, and hopefully to get about a $20 gain on just that one specific stock. And then, of course, you know, some of these are going to be the same likewise. So, you know, if I could gain another 30 to $40 on these couple stocks over the next couple of days, maybe week, then I definitely will. If you guys liked this video, please feel free to share it with your friends and comment with any questions you may have. And I will do my best to make a video more frequently. For all my viewers, I know now our subscriber count is 72. Thank you for all the subscribers out there. Um, thanks for watching. And remember, just keep smashing that like button. And um, I just want to hear from you guys. So let me know what you think. And have a great day.